What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. The Devil's Due Venom has arrived in Marvel's Midnight Suns. You'll find this on the board. Uh, I believe you have to have gotten to the point in the game where you actually scare away Venom with the bell. You'll know what that means. Let's go. All right, so we got to bring Spider-Man and Hunter, obviously. Just because there is talk of a slime monster lurking beneath Manhattan does not mean... Oh, it does. Look, I know Eddie and Venom. They're not what you'd call unsore losers. And we did, you know, kind of bury them under an old bell tower. Has anyone seen the creature since? Long gone by the time S.H.I.E.L.D. showed up. They go to ground when you wound their pride. In this case, underground. Venom on the loose? Licking his wounds? Now that's a friendly neighborhood problem. So, how about we go solve it? Do you have a question? <sighs> you gotta work on your social cues. Alright, so, officially, you have to complete the mission Shattering Expectations at the end of Act 1 in order Are for this quest to unlock. Will hold a grudge? I wouldn't say worried. I've come to expect it. And you still think this is a good idea? Yeah. Eddie tries to be a savior, but sometimes he needs to be saved from himself. Besides, what's the worst that could happen? He could eat one of us. See? Could be worse. Is that the uh, thought it was done talking. Slime monster. Vampire. Ah, vampires. Maybe it's the Downtown Express? Sounds like a lair. Sounds like. Side of vamp over easy. Not so easy for the vamp. Oh, gross, Eddie. It's hard to know who to root for in these parasite versus parasite situations. Parasite. A demonically possessed symbiote. Oh, that's the so vampire's sick. bloodlust. Not good. Come on, Eddie. Don't do this. They are definitely doing this. <laughs> Defeat Blood Venom. Ah, oh. Blood Venom symbiote binds can be broken. Oh, he looks so sick. Thing would crawl back to the sewer once Lilith had no use for it. Tell yourself whatever you have to. Uh, not to interrupt, but have you really been eating those vampires, Eddie? So if you are what you eat, what does that make you? I 
I just want to get a really good look at this blood venom. Look, all right, hold on. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Wait, how do I get rid of the uh, hide menu? I wish it was like not as dark, but look at. Look at him. All right. That hurt. Oh, that sucks. That is unfortunate. Guess we're not done. This is low, even for you, Eddie. Moping in the sewer, starving down the undead? You're better than this. We are better. Better than Lilith. Better than you. I'm sure I'm gonna have to beat him again. But it is all coming back to me. Chased across the city, but this is really getting gross. Somehow the smell is even worse down here. He's not eating roses.
too weak for this fight. I see not much has changed among the world's fanatics. from every pore! Don't lose it, pal. Either of you. He is lost! One mercy remains. Ah, yes. The elimination of one tormented soul for the good of many. Humans do love a moral dilemma. The umami of an otherwise flavorless existence. Mephisto. Gesundheit. Uh, nice mullet. Go to hell. There's nowhere I would rather be, but I've come on business. So let's make a deal. Is this one of those fiddle at the crossroads scenarios or no deal? My terms are as follows. I spare venom. I cure the symbiote of Lilith's demonic touch. I end the blood fever he's given himself, gorging on curdled vampire bile. A wretched little thinking of it. I said, no deal. All this, and I ask but one inconsequential thing in return. Stop the vampire uprising. The undead are bad for business. So, you cure Eddie, and we keep doing what we've been doing? Yes. Wipe them out. Remove every trace of their foul scourge from the earth. Then, I will cure this pathetic creature. Forever. For the last time, no... Hold up. Give me the fine print. Nothing much. The usual. If you should fail, you'll discover something far more threatening than the undead, namely yours truly, etc., etc., immortal soul, yada yada. This is a bad idea. This, or he dies? We don't have much of a choice. I'm in. Good. Just sign there and there. You may feel a little steep. We should follow. You do have a vampire war to wage. Oh, and Peter, I'll see you around. How did he know my... Huh. <laughs> well, I'd say we've unlocked Venom now. Of all the surprises we've had so far, that was one of the weirdest. So, uh, that's a truce then. Right, right? Draw one hey. card. We feel like attack a hero card. The next one we attack card played does not consume ravenous. We will stay. 
That was sick. He didn't threaten to eat you. That is Chain progress. Two. You know, you're pretty good at this. Alright, quick slash. Knockback. Feel my call. Web toss. Is that quick? Knock back in any direction. Unfeasible. Ungrounded. Un Ungrounded targets. One card play left. Uh, we'll use web toss. Why not? Oh, wait. Hold on. Definitely do that. Is it like it's just far enough away? Ah, uh, shit. Hold on. Of course. Hydra follows proper concussion protocols. What you were like before Lilith got. Oh my god. Look at him. I can't promise you I'm not gonna do this again. Your head. Your fault Lilith got in our head to begin with. Is that really what you think? I never wanted that. Wait, what? I thought that one was dead. Leaving us hungry. Well, that is 
kind of my job. Well, that one was unfortunate. I thought that one was dead. match your strength. Play dead! Ha! Huh. I think that's the last of them. And not a moment too soon. Something like that. So, you okay, Eddie? Blood! <laughs> it's kidding, little joke. Uh, no, I, I come in peace. For once. Really? New kids gotta get in on this, too? Hey, by the way, you're killing it out there. Respect. Uh, thank you. Not my first vampire war. Eddie, are you yourself again? Well, you mean, are we ourselves? Yeah, Lilith. She made us a monster. We did awful things. You know that's not who we are, right? Of course. So I'm sitting here. Well, in there, thinking. <clears throat> I saw what you did for me. So, how about we put aside all our, uh, you know, personal stuff? Okay. No, not forever. Just, just until this whole messed up vampire situation is figured out. Till all the innocent people are safe. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Works for me. Shake on it. Oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Put her there. Thanks, Partner. Heidi, for following me while I'm... I'm there. Recording? Partner. Welcome to the Midnight Suns. So just like that, we have unlocked Venom. We're gonna figure out what his deal is. Hopefully get him something better than a wife beater. Read or die. That's what I've always said. He's already working out. You guys really put the home in home base. This is an impressive setup. I hope the accommodations are better than what my mother provided. Uh, your mother gave me a lot of stuff, but most of it was grief. Uh, thanks again for what you did for me. As if my past wasn't complicated enough, your mother added a fresh pile of regrets. Eddie, you are here because a mutual friend believes in you. Uh, you mean he believes I'm trouble? And he's not entirely wrong. I do not want you at each other's throats. Look, Parker and I have a complicated history, but it's water under the bridge. Oh, well, I guess we're still building that bridge. But we have bigger fish to fry from the uh, bridge. But enough about us. Can you trust me after everything that happened? I mean, I kept trying to eat you. 
After 300 years, I am not that appetizing. Wow, yeah. Probably for the best we never found out. So, now that we've cleared the air, I'm a little worried about the deal we made with the devil. That's the first time I've meant it literally. Mephisto is malevolent. Every interaction with him is playing with Hellfire. Oh, I hate fire. Almost as much as I hate demons. No offense, but I hear there's a gym here, and I'm itching to check it out. I'm gonna do that, unless you need something else. I would like to get to know you better. Okay, hit me. I would like to know more about you. Really? Like what? What was your life like before you became Venom? I was a reporter, and I was pretty good at it. Well, I was okay. Somewhere between okay and pretty good. Had a few wins. Then one major gaffe blew up my whole career. What happened? <laughs> uh, it's a long story. And not my favorite one to tell. Maybe I'll share the details someday. All you need to know is that it nearly ended my career. I still find the occasional reporting gig, but... Well, let's just say it's for news sites with stories about how the government buries alien bodies in the desert. Do they? Oh, yeah. Just not the kind of aliens these sites talk about. What drives you to fight for justice? Plenty of people will tell you I'm no hero. Some of them might be living in the Abbey. But I really do care about doing what's right. I guess you could say I had a tough childhood. Always wished I'd had a strong friend who could save me from the monsters in my life. So I became a monster. To save those too small to fight for themselves. Yeah, they might be afraid of me, but... I'll keep them safe. You seem... Ruthless for a hero. Is that a question? Half the Midnight Suns believe the greater good can sometimes outweigh a single life, but none of them, uh, well, eat their enemies? You could put it that way. Eh, my brand of justice is an acquired taste. I would like to know more about your symbiote. Naturally. Go for it. How did you and the symbiote connect with one another? I got bitten by a radioactive pool of motor oil. What? <laughs> uh, nah, that would have been less traumatic. Truth is, Spider-Man brought the symbiote back from space. Space? <laughs> Be surprised what that kid gets up to. Anyway, Parker found the suit ill-fitting. His loss was my gain. Maybe I'll tell you the story someday. What are your capabilities on the battlefield? But without your mom's demonic protein powder, we can still bench press a bus if we need to. We also have limited shape-shifting abilities. Our tendrils are handy when we need to grab something or web someone to a wall. Uh, oh! And we can also camouflage ourselves, if needed. Don't tell Parker, but he traded down when he went back to those red and blue pajamas. I noticed that you sometimes refer to yourself as we. Why is that? Because I'm a king in black. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. Truth is, Venom isn't a singular personality. It's a combination of myself and the symbiote. That's why we say we. Must be strange to have a conversation with the voice inside your head. Yeah, well, if you thought it was hard fighting vampires, try doing it when your costume is yelling in your ear. Eddie, can I talk to Venom now? Uh, that's not how it works. I'm not deranged. I just share a body with an alien symbiote. And okay, yeah, that does sound deranged. But it also happens to be true. You want to talk to Venom? You always are, Hunter. 
Actually, I have to run. I'm around if you need me. All right, so Venom is now available now that we've talked to him. Uh, sorry if you heard any uh, little noise in the background. Thor is having a hard time. Uh, let's go ahead and look at, at Venom's hero card. There he is. And let's go right to customization. Oh, he's got Anti-Venom and Fallen Venom. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let's go back to Anti-Venom. Oh my God, he looks like Carnage. Dude. All right, uh, we're gonna buy that one. And for Fallen Venom. Oh, I can't decide which one I like. I like this one a lot. That's sick. All right, so uh, there you have it. Oh, let's look at him in a bathing suit, board shorts. And an eight pack. Oh my god, look at that. He is so sick. Alright, guys. Well, I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Destructive. And uh, what is what does she have to say? What can you well from a spotty centuries old reference and the data we've but they don't drink blood. Can they well they create the This is not part of this. Alright. All right, you guys get it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks, Carol. We'll see ya. See ya.